Hello, I'm Abby and I'm from Daunting Productions. Today I'm going to be doing question one of the evaluation about my final film. So here goes. In my media film, I use many typical codes and conventions that are seen in real media productions. For example, I use dark lighting, spooky sound effects that built up tension, mise-en-scene and a confusing plot. In my group, we decided to use dark lighting in our final film as I felt as if it was a in my group, we decided to use dark lighting as we felt this was a common feature used in horror films in order to create effective horror and fear. For example, in all the scenes we filmed, we filmed when it was dark and therefore this made our final, final product scarier because it wasn't bright and sunny. In my group, we also decided to use spooky sound effects. However, I feel as if we develop this feature further than most horror films as we use this coding convention as a key element of creating fear. This was because our final film was a dream and therefore we wanted to create the illusion that the victim was imagining things and we relied on the sound effects to emphasise this. For example, in the second scene we use slow, scary music in order to build up tension for the audience and then in the last scene we use daunting remixed nursery rhymes to show that the girl was hearing things within her dream. However, in most horror films sound effects are used to build up tension in scary scenes, however we use sound effects throughout the whole film. As a group, we also decided to use the Coda Convention mise en scène as a key element to create fear within. I feel as if we challenged other horror films with our mise-en-scene because, for example, costumes that we use were pyjamas and not many horror films use this type of costume to create their characters. But my group felt as if it was an effective costume to create their... Effective costume... As a group, we decided to use the Code of Convention mise-en-scene as a key element to create fear within. I feel as if we challenged other horror films with our mise-en-scene because, for example, our costumes that we use were pyjamas and not many horror films use this type of costume to create their characters. But my group felt as if it was an effective costume in order to create fear as it gave the audience the impression that I was more vulnerable. And therefore, this is why I feel as if my group challenged other horror films' use of mise-en-scene. Furthermore, we also challenged other horror films' <coughs> mise-en-scene because in our horror film we use little props compared to most horror films that use several props for example the main ones are knives, dolls or something that is significant to the character or the storyline however we decided to limit the amount of props and present fear through the editing, makeup and sound effects for example in the first scene we had quick snappy close-up shots of Lucy, the ghost following me. We also done Lucy's makeup with thick black eyes and blood all over her face and therefore we felt as if we didn't need to use props in order to pre present horror. Lastly, my group presented codes and conventions similar to other media, media products because we used a confusing storyline. Many horror films use this code and convention and therefore my group felt as if this was an effective strategy in order to create fear. Therefore, we use this form by our storyline being a dream, and therefore this would make the audience feel like anything could happen as the dream wasn't real. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did like our final film.